Hello, in this video I will be walking you through the steps involved with doing an antibody validation. Now you should have already created a project here at the top portion of Imperia Studios, but if you need to just go ahead and click on new project and give it a name. But I'm going to go ahead and use one that I have already started. So here in the tutorials project I'm going to click on create new experiment and then I'm going to go into the antibody validation. But before we do that, we want to talk a little bit about why we are doing this. So for Western blotting, it is important to validate that your antibodies are specific for your protein. And then we'll also go into the topics of determining the linear range and validating any housekeeping proteins uh, if you are using those types of experiments. So I'm going to go ahead and click on antibody validation right here. And Normally, you would use uh, images either from work areas or zip files, but since I already have the images in a previous version of um, a project, I'm going to go ahead and click on image gallery right here. And so the image that I'm going to go to here is this 301. So this has uh, CPARP uh, as the antibody that I'm going to be validating. So I'm going to click select right there. And so I have a view of the image right here and I'm going to click Start. So I need to give this antibody validation a name. So I'm going to call this CPARP. Uh, and you can give it whatever description that you would like. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a name down here as well. And for this experiment, this particular antibody was from CST. And then if you would want to, you can also enter in the product number, uh, the lot number, uh, any dilution that you used. I'm going to put 1 to 1,000 for this. Uh, an incubation time, I'm going to say overnight. Uh, this is a rabbit antibody. And I use the Odyssey blocking buffer uh, for the uh, diluents. And then the secondary antibody that was used on this was IRDI 800 CW. It's from Lycor. And this was a 1 to 10,000 dilution. And this was a one hour incubation. And this was derived from GOAT. Uh, and then, but you can enter in any infor other information in here that you need to um, for this. So I'm going to click on Next right up here. And so now I need to define the lanes on here. So I'm going to draw a boundary for my lanes just to the outside right here. I have seven lanes loaded on here. And if I need to, I can adjust the boundary uh, for this just so that the lines are going pretty much through the center of the bands. And then click Next. So in this section, I'm going to say that in lane one, I have a molecular weight marker set up. And then I can also put in the amount that is loaded into uh, each one of these lanes. And it happens to be uh, 10 micrograms for each. And then I'm going to click Next. And if you want to, you can also put in information in these lane names uh, if you had any different types of treatments or anything like that. So for doing the molecular weight determination, I'm going to choose the molecular weight marker that was used. In this case, it's the Chame Chameleon Duo 800. And then I'm going to add the band markers. Just like that. And then you click Done over here to the side. So now I'm going to move on to the next window. and. I can either add the bands individually on here, or you can click the Find Bands to move this line to the location where the bands are present, and just simply click, and then it will draw the boxes on there for you. And then go ahead and click on Next. And so that here we have the, the image, and then we also have the data tables where we determine the molecular weights. And we also get the signal that is derived from them, uh, the signal to noise ratio along with the amounts that are loaded, and then the antibody information that was added at the beginning. Now from here, if you want to send this out to um, another computer that has Imperia loaded onto it, you can export the experimental file, 
or you can do a PDF report and you can browse I'm just gonna browse to the desktop to save this one and I'm gonna call this PARP and I'm gonna go, go ahead and export it and then you will have that report available for you you can also give a rating to this so if this gave you the results that you wanted you can uh, rate this a one two three four or five stars and then when you click done that antibody validation will be present uh, here in the uh, in your experimental folder thank you